Beachcomber is like one of those weird Transformers characters, and I just I just love him. Like he's not really one of my favorites, but I just love Beachcomber. I love his design. I love his character. He's just such a cool guy, and I was really excited to get this newer figure of him. But this G1, when I got the G1, I was so excited. This is the original G1 1985 Beachcomber compared to the Titans Return Beat. Actually, no, Power of the Primes. I forgot you were in the first wave of Power of the Primes, but he still did that Titans Return cockpit thing. Yeah, Power of the Primes, Beachcomber. Whoa. Man, it's the, the Prime War stuff is so confusing sometimes. Like, they released, they released a Titans Return compatible buzzsaw in Combiner Wars. That was really confusing. But anyways, yeah, Beachcomber. I love Beachcomber. And I wanted to do a comparison of the old versus the new Beachcomber with a special guest. We're going to talk about the little universe one as well. Uh, because I will have absolutely no other chance to talk about Beachcomber probably ever again besides this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw him in. But yeah, let's talk about the old one. And then we're going to talk about the universe uh, Legends class one. And then we're going to talk about the Power of the Primes Legends class. Legends class has definitely changed a definition over the years. It's a real shame they kind of got rid of it, though, with Siege. I really don't like that. But yeah, let's talk about the G1. Because this G1 Beachcomber is just so adorable. Look at his little face. He's got this faceplate. He doesn't even have a mouth. He's just got a faceplate. Uh, really cool design on the faceplate, though. I wish it was, a, you know, like a toy that kind of just went off the G1 sculpt. But yeah, articulation. He can move his head up and down just from the uh, transformation arms you can move up and the knees you can bend you can actually bend the knees even though they're kind of transformation hinges and they're really loosey-goosey and you're not going to get them to stand but yeah he's got some articulation he's got some things going on uh, i got this guy really cheap because one of his four tires is kind of mangled but you know what if you're displaying him you know what you can do boom there you go problem solved uh yeah really cool little guy the stickers are the original stickers and they are going off as a result um, the air conditioning is going on in my room because it's it's pretty hot in Cincinnati, but the rub sign is still kind of working. You can still see the Autobot symbol. Looks like it took a nick at one point in history. That's okay. You can kind of see it going a little bit. You can tell he's an Autobot. It's all good. But anyways, how does he transform? Because there isn't too much to talk about other than that. Um, so his head goes down. His arms go in. His legs, they flip. And that's pretty much it. There's Beachcomber. Uh, <laughs> it's very, very simple mini bot. Uh, I would love to see a reissue from Walmart of this guy. Of course, I have the original, but I would just like to see a reissue. He does have the roll cage, which is nice, and he has little seats and a little steering wheel. Really nice little guy. Um, I do like this mini <laughs> mini bot. I was about to call him a mini fig. That's a Lego thing. Um, but yeah, really nice little mini bot. He's he's one of my favorites. Really good figure, honestly. Like it's just a solid G1. Even though one thing that always throws me off about the mini bots is that they're made out of all plastic, even though I always expect some die-cast in G1 toys. But yeah, a little, little beachcomber. I love him so much. Let's set him there, and let's talk about the Universe one, which is basically the same thing, but more articulated. And I'm not even joking. So the sculpt on this is a little more a little more faithful to Beachcomber in the G1 cartoon, even though he has a silver face, and he really shouldn't. But yeah, he's got some more articulation. He's got ball joints in the arms now, as well as hinges. He can move the legs... You can also bend the knees, and they actually work this time, and you also kind of have an ankle. But yeah, he's got a little more articulation on this one. Um, I do like him. He does have a removable piece, this tire, and the, the little gun. I don't know why he has a gun. He's kind of a pacifist. Can come off, but there's nowhere to, like, put it on his arm or anywhere. It just comes off. I don't... Maybe if you don't want him to have a gun, but still kind of a weird, weird feature there. But yeah, not really too much else to talk about with this robot mode. Let's go into transformation! So, differences. Instead of flipping the head up, you slide the torso up. And then, instead of um, just moving the legs, you also flip the feet. And then you move the legs. But first, you get the, le um, the arms. Hinge them down. And then you flip the legs. Actually, no, wrong, incorrect. You can't do that. Because the feet become the seats. And you need to flip in the legs first. And then, then, you end up with this vehicle mode. Really good vehicle mode, man. I really do like it. Let's compare it with the G1 real quick. And I'm talking real quick, because I ain't going to waste time on this. Yeah, you can see, compared to the G1, definitely different kind of vehicle mode. This reminds me of a Hot Wheel. <laughs> it really does. And I love it for that. Has some more white going on, some more yellow. I uh, really do like those colors. But yeah, I, I think this is a nice update to, uh, to Beachcomber in this size class. But it's not the best boy. Best boy is Power of the Primes. This thing is where it's at, man. So... 
extra articulation. You can move his head now. That's a revelation. Uh, his shoulders, they're um, just on ball joints this time, but still get good range. He has elbows, finally. That's amazing. And he has really giant fists to hold accessories. You can kind of get him like going, yeah, I'm Beachcomber. I'm, I'm a pacifist hippie that loves dancing with the animals. Um, also, he just has the, the legs that can move forward, and he also has knee bend. And he has kind of a kind of an ankle, sort of. It's not really, no, I wouldn't say he does. But yeah, um, pretty solid, pretty solid robot on this guy. Uh, he does kind of have a bit of the roll cage just kind of sitting on his back. But then again, his back looks really cool. I really do like that detail. Pretty accurate to the G1 toy as well. So, um, he doesn't have stickers, but he does kind of replicate the stickers, as you can see, with paint. Look at that, that's so cool. This guy's definitely more of an homage to the toy than it is to the cartoon, but it does have a very cartoon accurate face, and I really appreciate that. So articulation on this one, or not articulation, transformation, uh, pretty similar. Fold that up, put the arms in, and then you just kind of get the roll cage aligned. Then you get this, then you tab this in like that. See, you get that tabbed in together, then you get the roll cage tabbed in together. There's more stuff to just tab in. But it's essentially the same kind of thing going on. Oh my god, why is it not going? Go in, buddy. You kind of see how it goes in, but it's supposed to go in. Come on, buddy. Work with me here. We're trying to film a video. Trying to film a video, little robot man. Then you flip in the legs. And then, flip down the roll bar. Connect the roll bar pieces. Then make sure everything's not just going to collapse in on itself. And then, boom, there you go. Um, that's pretty much his vehicle mode. Um, there really isn't too much else going on. Just make sure everything's aligned right. Then boom, there you go. Definitely, definitely more inspired by the G1 toy. You can definitely see where it's inspired by the toy. Definitely brighter colors, though, for sure. Um, definitely prefer this one. This is definitely the definitive beachcomber, without a doubt. So yeah, there's all the vehicle modes. Uh, let's transform him into his uh, robot mode again, and then we'll just end the video. So yeah, there we go, man. There's Beachcomber. I love him so much. He's just such a such a goofy character in the cartoon. I mean, a pacifist stuck in a giant robot war. Uh, it's just, you know, it just comedy writes itself, sort of. Uh, it's, it's such a great character, too. He's just, he's, you, gotta, you gotta look up to Beachcomber. While everyone else is fighting, he's, he's, looking, he's looking at the good in it. And his, it, his, his reaction at the end of the Golden Lagoon episode just makes me so sad every time. Oh, I don't want to talk about that because I'm just going to cry. But yeah, there we go, man, Beachcomber. I love him so much. He's, he's my favorite mini-bot character, except Bumblebee. I like Bumblebee a lot, too. But yeah, there we go, man, Beachcomber. Buy his toys. Support Beachcomber on Patreon, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. I think Beachcomber even has a Kickstarter to save the animals. So yeah, there we go. Uh, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Check out my social media links down in the description below. This is my P.O. Box address. Have a good day, guys. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.